engineers ask, what if we slingshot a plane off of a boat? And then immediately followed by it with, wait, how do we get it back? How is like Virgil Griffin and Godfrey Chabrelier tested takeoffs, landings, and their own mortality? Commander Kenneth Whiting became the first human catapulted off Russia voluntarily. Planes were hurled into the sea with all the grace of a paperclip launched by a rubber band. These systems had a success rate that made coin tosses look scientific. Pilots had to pray the catapult didn't misfire, jam or launch them into the ocean like a misguided torpedo. And then came the real nightmare, capture, landing on a moving ship with no runway, no arresting gear, and no margin for error, enter the sky hook. Picture this, a plane flies low and slow, and a giant hook snags it midair like a trout on a line. Sounds elegant, in practice, it was like trying to park a car by driving it into a clothesline. It was terrifying, but also kind of awesome. 